Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Shelby. Um, today I was in the mood for an herbal tea. Um, I'm stealing it from the same box as last time, the Tea Forte Single Steeps. Um, so again, I said I'm in the mood for a herbal tea. So I'm going to try the Raspberry Nectar one today. Will it focus? Should I be like one of those people who do this? Yeah, fuck you guys. Okay. So again, it's the little single steeps tea forte. And this is another episode of Tea Time with Shelby. Oh, Before I run and go make the tea, um, this episode, uh, I was gonna do weird messages I've got from guys on dating apps. Um, I thought it would be fun. I only have a couple screenshotted right now, but again, it's not gonna take me that long to drink this tea. So, I'm gonna go make the tea, and then we'll get started with Tea Time with Shelby. Alrighty, so before I pour my tea while I'm letting it steep, I thought I'd start off with an oldie but a goodie. Um, just so you guys know, most of these are from Plenty of Fish, um, which I very swiftly deleted after I got so many weird messages. Um, a couple of them are from Tinder, so there's your background. Here's the first one, y'all ready? Can I watch you pee? Yep, that's his opening line to me. Which I said, Jesus Christ, get out. And he said, no, I'll stay in. You. LOL. And then I said, somewhere out there is a tree tirelessly producing oxygen so that you can breathe. I think you owe it an apology. To which he said, wow, you're so fucking weird. Like, I'm the weird one. You just asked a random stranger if you could pee in them. But I'm the weird one for talking about apologizing to trees. So yeah, that was that's our first one of the day. Can I pee in you? Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's let's pour the tea. I need some warm comfort in my life before this video. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, you can't see it. Look at this. Oh, I'd even let it steep that long, probably like a minute. And I added too much water. It's a single steep, but I want to get more than one cup of tea out of these. I want to get at least two cups of tea. Oh, another dimension. Wow, this tea is awesome so far. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. We'll get back to the video. Let's see what I got next. My favorite types of messages are these ones, when they just message you repeatedly <laughs> for days. First one, do you live downtown? Second one, I think we may know the same people. Let's get high. How are you? I'm sure you're getting a ton of messages. Only from this guy. Like ten in a row. Um, this guy's pickup line is, hypothetically speaking, if you were a kind of wine, what would you be? It's, okay, that's a decent pickup line, right? So I said red Moscato, because I like red Moscato. And he said, you sound sweet, tasty, and cheap. <laughs> wow. This guy's pickup line was, sit on my face, lol. I, that's like a really popular pickup line for some reason. I said, I'll pass, but thanks for the offer. And then he just sent a frowny face. <laughs> this guy's pickup line was, hey, are you real? I said, no. And then he said, how was your day? Like, did he want me to be fake, maybe? This guy said, his pickup line is, am I cute? Do I look like Harry Potter? 
That's a weird one. I like Harry Potter, but I don't... He doesn't. He doesn't have glasses. He literally looks nothing like Harry Potter. I don't know why I said that. This, uh, this guy's pickup line is, I need me a white girl like you. Alright. Cool. Cool. This guy said, I love you. Marry me? Question mark. Pick up lines I love you is coming on a little bit strong in my opinion. Oh, one of my favorites. I'm gonna drink my tea real quick here. Oh, it's so good. Not too sweet, but sweet. Very raspberry y. Ah, uh, amazing. Hit the spot. So this guy's pickup line was, can I mainline your period blood into my aorta? I asked him, what's your blood type? Because if he's going to mainline my period blood into his aorta, we better make sure there's no transfusion reaction. He said, I don't know. So he didn't know his blood type, so obviously that wasn't going to work out, because he gon' die. Unless he's A positive, then he might live. Oh, this is a really good one too. Okay, I'll do this last one and then I'll end the video because add a little bit more tea. Stuff's amazing. So this this was a Tinder one. So his pickup line was, have you ever seen the movie 500 Days of Summer and or About Time? And I said no. <laughs> and then he sent me like a two-page message. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth about why I asked, I have six older sisters and two older brothers, and because of that, I have seen a lot of good chick flicks, and I thought you might just be interested in seeing some with me. With me, myself, and I. So three personalities, evidently. And then he goes on to list 30 different movies he owns on DVD. That's why this message is so long. The Perfect Man, The Last Kiss, Just Married, The Wedding Singer, Valentine's Day, The Ugly Truth, The Perfect Man. Two can play that game. Like, this, this could have been a real person. He literally listed off 30 different DVDs. And at the end, he says... Oh, God. A high school reunion and many, many more great all-time chick flicks, such as one of my favorites, Hitch with Will Smith. That was number 31. The reason I listed all of these movies is because they are all movies which I own on DVD. And I would like to choose one to possibly watch on a time which we hang out together. Great sentence. Also, like the 31 movies wasn't enough. He's about to sweeten the deal for me here. Also, to add, I do have a gigantic selection of many other movies, DVDs, and Blu-rays. And I also have my own personal Netflix account. If there is any on there that you'd like to see, just let me know. Isn't that just bright in your day that a guy would go on to list 31 different DVDs he owns. Yeah. This tea, this is the Raspberry Nectar Herbal Tea. It's amazing. Um, I think my rating system before was on a scale of one to five tea leaves, uh, with five being the best and one being awful. This one is 100% getting a five tea leaf rating. It is so good. If you don't like stuff that's really sweet, though, you might not like this because it is definitely on the sweeter side of the spectrum. But I love sweet tea and sweet wine and such. So this is right up my alley. So five tea leaves on this. I hope you enjoyed Tea Time with Shelby number two.